All right, welcome back. We're back. Episode four of the throne room. I'm Alex King, <coughs> seated on the throne. <coughs> and I'm <coughs> Nico, <coughs> four lady, seated <coughs> next to the <coughs> throne. Oh boy, it's good to be back this week. Hey, another week, another dollar. Another week, another nothing, because we're not <laughs> yeah. making jack squat as of now. So hit us up for sponsorships. Um, actually, we are on uh, um, Apple Podcasts and iTunes, as well as Spotify. So uh, the way the way we move up in the um, rankings as far as our genre goes is we need rates and reviews. So it doesn't matter what you say. You just throw in a five-star rating and then type in your favorite breed of dog and it literally helps us out so we'd appreciate that as we're grinding out here in these streets yeah mom and dad (laughs) yeah uh (laughs) anyone who actually knows who we are at this point you're a goat anyway enough of uh enough of uh our weekly promotion and had a good week this week i i would agree with that i'm glad performance hey you see and m's ranked number 22 now 22 top 25 listen there listen we said last week that we should be ranked. And look where we are the, this week. The polls rewarded us. Yes, they did. We're low. We're not at the bottom, though. Thank you, Mr. Jimbo. 22. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, listen. When's the last time we were ranked? I honest, I don't I, I don't know. Can't tell you. We're right above Boston College. First of all, I haven't seen anything good out of Boston College, so I don't know if they're actually that good. But uh, And then we're, uh, we got Michigan State, 24, and BYU, 25. So... Uh, Yo, Miami's 21, and they're cheeks. I want to say they're cheeks. They're, they're bad. They're bad. I they're, mean... They're not good. Dude, they're 2-1. So I mean, are so we. are we, but I guess we lost to a but better team, But the thing though. with them is they played against Toledo this week, and the score they, was 40 yeah, they got, 24 <laughs> They got close to losing that one. Uh, and then we got Oregon at 20. I don't really think they have a schedule... They got uh, Michigan at 19. Uh, they got Wisconsin at 18. TCU. Yo, TCU is good. I, I can agree with that. Their, their defense. So, uh, shout out to the 210 once once more. Uh, oh, what's his name? Oh, Ty Summers, linebacker TCU, played at Reagan. And he is a baller, senior year. And he's he's been locking it down over there for quite some time. UCF. Okay. The national champions. Yeah, undefeated national champs. Are, we're. I think it's safe to say we can agree that that's complete. Bull yeah, crap. Bull crap. Yeah, because they're not. Um, no, I agree. But they're two and zero. So shout out. Good for them. They've only played two games. Everybody else has played three. OSU is fifteen. Mississippi State's fourteen. I think that's. I would. Fair. I would rank them higher. I think they're better than. 14. You like their quarterback? I like their team, but yeah, the quarterback's good. Baller. Uh, Baller, shot collar. Baller, shot collar. Virginia Tech. Uh, West Virginia. Mama. Okay. Washington. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> You're welcome. Washington. Uh, and then Penn State. Um, as of right now, where do you see Trace McSorley? That's a good call. Is he, st- is he still in the Heisman conversation? Uh, well, I mean, uh, let's. Well, we can talk about. We'll talk about that when we go. We, we go hot takes. I, I, I don't want to go too off track. Here. Auburn. Oh yeah, Auburn. Number nine. They're the Yo, highest team that dropped, has a loss. Yeah, they, they dropped. But let's see. I don't know. I don't Going know. up all the way to the top, you saw Clemson's now ranked number three. Georgia's number two. Why? Well, because they. Well, that makes sense though, because who who else is Clemson play? We we were their biggest competitor. And for the rest of the season, who who they play this last week? Some and some no name. So and it was like they played Georgia Southern, I believe. Yeah, thirty eight to seven. They scored zero points in the first quarter. That's ridiculous. Like really? Yeah. Who well, yeah. That's team? what I'm saying. We we were the best competitor they were ever going to play because we're an SEC West team, which is known to be baller. Uh, we had 106 people. In, in the stadium that we're screaming at them. Okay, so... 106,000. But it's just yeah. 106. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> woo! Yeah, <laughs> yeah Kellen Mond! <laughs> yes! Yes, Jimbo! No, uh... 
106. Uh, yeah, 106,000 people just screaming at them. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that we're definitely their biggest competitor. Oh, the yeah, and I feel like we will for a long while. We'll be for a long time. So what you- <laughs> So... so, so <laughs> Oh, we got people throwing peppermints at us. Anyway, where uh, where were we? What where, where, where did we leave? On to number one? No, no, no. We're no, no. no we're at Auburn, and we and then we got uh, Notre Dame at eight, Stanford at seven, LSU, LSU six, making the big jump. Five. Oklahoma? LSU has really impressed me this year. Yeah, for yes. sure. I mean, they're three and zero. Oh. Uh, monster victory in week one. Uh, or no, was that week two? Who did they beat really, really bad? Shoot, I can't remember. It's on the tip of my tongue. I, uh, oh, it was Miami. My, they steamrolled Miami. Oh, Miami. yeah, they destroyed them. Yeah, and then Ran they... Right. I think the that this past week against Auburn, it was really just a back and forth. I don't know, because I don't know if you watched the game or not, but it was just a back and forth, like, you know heavyweight for heavyweight, pound for pound, and then LSU figured out how to win that game. And I think that's so important as if you're an SEC West team because you're you're in a conference where everyone else is really, really good. Okay? And everyone has like street cred to be big time competitors. And they they showed themselves to to, to win a, a a ball game like that, uh, in Jordan Hare Stadium. Um, so they're the ones that can Keep it going once they yeah. hit that adversity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once that adversity comes, they push through it, get around it, and get the dub. The- theoretical football here. That's what I'm talking about. Then uh, Ohio State, um, disgusting program. I don't know if, if that's how you feel about them. I'm just tired of them. They're gross. Uh, Urban Meyer. Oh, do we? Oh, we never we never talked about Urban Meyer. I don't think yet. Oh, no, we have not. That was week one. How do you how did you feel about all that? It is what it is. Nothing you can do now. I mean, yeah, there's nothing you can do now, but, uh... Yeah, he, he should have got, yeah, got fired. Or at least a little bit more consequence. He got suspended while, like, three, but he was still paid, I mean... What, or, suspended, suspended three games? Or? Well, I mean, I don't know if it's three games. I don't know his sentence. He got, like, a little tap on the wrist kind oh, of Oh, yeah, thing. don't do it again, honey. No, yeah. And I was like, dude, this is... Like, your assistant coach, like, abused... He hits ladies, as we like to say on the podcast. He hits ladies. He hits ladies, dude. That's so uncool. Like, you're you're a degenerate human being, if you think that's okay. And the head coach just threw it under the rug. Like, it's nothing. So, yeah. it's ridiculous. Covered for him. So, yeah. So, like we mentioned earlier, Clemson dropped to three. Georgia's at two. Um, so, SEC dominating the uh, front two. Alabama this week. Oh, my goodness. I think it is solidified that they are the scariest team in oh. the country. Oh, yeah. And I'm not saying that because they're number one, but when's the last time that Alabama really had a dominant offense? And they're scarier than the last two Alabama teams from the last two years. Yeah. I mean, my fa- what, what's your favorite offense from the last, like, it, just in the dynasty? Like, who's your, who's your favorite the quarterback? Dynasty's the last 12 years. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A.J. McCarron. You, I, that's what I'm saying. I like AJ McCarron. Trent Richardson, when he was there, was a big baller. AJ, yeah, with uh, Greg McElroy. My favorite combo. Um, I really liked AJ McCarron, Derrick Henry, and Amari Cooper. Those are my favorites so far. Three. Those stars. are my. Those are my top three. My second would have to be uh, Greg McElroy, Julio Jones, and Mark Ingram. Yeah, oh, that's... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Two but I mean, this, NFL this, players. But in those teams, you got a dominant O-line, you got one wide receiver, uh, a consistent quarterback, and a powerhouse at running back. With this one, there's depth at every position. Yes. Now you have two dual-threat quarterbacks. Now you have four consistently... Uh, Playmaking wide receivers, and you have three running backs. You got Josh Jake. You well, you got uh, uh, Damian Harris, Josh Jacobs, and Najee Harris. Three amazing running backs that are equally good. That could be starting at any other, literally at any other position. Any other and program. then, and then, even after losing a bunch of uh, starters last year on on the defensive side of the ball, 
they still reloaded and are still like dominating every team they play. And that's what's scary. Yeah, they're the scariest team in the country. At least, yes. if we're talking about offense, let's just talk about offense for like two seconds. They're the scariest offense in the country. Which is, un- that's Which never been said before. Never been said about Alabama. It's always been the defense. Defense is, yeah. Is, and it's true. It wins championships. Yeah. Sorry, it wins championships. Well, they've won plenty of championships. <sighs> Five, baby. Let's go. Five rings. I'm talking about. Um, Giga Maggies. Giga, hail, hail Jimbo. Who, who do you think has the second scariest offense behind Alabama? Well, it depends because you could go the good, the scary spreads, scary pro. Well, scary pro and M. <laughs> well, yet to be said. I mean, come on. Okay, we scared the heck out of Clemson. Yeah, you're right. But Calamon didn't have the best game that. He... Okay, second second half. Second half. I mean, yeah, he get... he sliced the the secondary up like butter. Don't get me wrong. I was I didn't think much of Kelmon. Yeah. The Clemson game, really, I thought a lot more of him. Yeah. But I mean, let's be real, he could have thrown three two or three interceptions that really could have been caught. Yeah. That the Clemson defense just dropped. Yeah. Which luckily for us they didn't. But it wasn't like a bad pass, it was like uh a, a bad a bad, bad decision. decision. Drops, drops. Cause there's a few at least one or two that the receiver like it, they they didn't catch it, and it went up in the air, and the, and their and their guy almost like dived to co- to catch the ball. And also, and a couple of those. Mon threw that one. Uh, what's his name? Rogers Jr. Yeah, Kendrick, Kendrick Rogers, Rogers, Jr. Rogers Jr. Yeah, that one touchdown he had. Let's be honest. Yeah, it was a great catch by him, but he was triple covered. Yeah, that was. I mean, that decision or him. faith in your receiver. Is the perception there? A little bit of both. A little bit of both? We'll call it a little bit of both. So, who do you think is the, the scariest offense as a whole right now? In week Going into week mm. four. Mm. Alabama's for sure number one. No question about mm. that. Mm. Oklahoma. Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray, dude. Uh, I'll agree with that, actually, because... They have a very strong offense. For the past couple of years, they've oh, had yeah. a very strong offense. Yeah. Baker Mayfield lit it Heisman up. Heisman winner last year. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, their secondary this week looked weak. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll t- I don't want to put them in, worst performance in, a, in, in our worst performance bracket when we talk about that later. No, but no, no. but they, they looked inconsistent, and I think that's something they'll work on going into this, uh, this, this next week. Um... I, as much as, well, mm, yeah, I think they're, they're, they're the second best, um, I think Jake Fromm is doing a really good job over at Georgia, he's a great quarterback, I I, I don't know if I would say, oh yeah, sophomore, I mean, I don't know if I would say, like, they're the second scariest offense, I think they can do really good things, this, this is a weird question though, because, it's so different seeing Alabama do so well on the offensive side of the ball because right now, with what we've seen in three games, like they're separated. Like they're playing NFL oh, level offense. Well, I won't go that high. But oh, come on, no, but but there. but compared to everyone else. Oh yeah, compared to everybody else. That's what I'm talking about. The the spread, the skill disparity between what Alabama is doing on the offensive side of the ball right now versus everyone else in the country. I mean, mm-hmm. that's why it's such a it's a hard question to answer because everyone else is kind of. And at least in the top ten, it's kind of generally the same. You got a great, uh, you got a great offense with Jake Fromm at Georgia. You got a good offense with the Kelly Bryant and the uh, and like the Which Trevor they Lawrence. They should be really good. Yeah, they'll be good. Their secondary needs some work uh, at Clemson. Uh, Ohio State, you got a pretty good running back. He got shut down though uh, at Ohio State. We'll look at that. Uh, yeah, Oklahoma with Kyler Murray. He's a Heisman contender now. Uh, LSU, you got Jared Stidham at at uh, Auburn. I don't. Notre Dame should not be ranked. If we're going to uh, talk about teams that shouldn't be ranked, well, I mean they played against who Vanderbilt this week. Yeah, but Vanderbilt's the one yeah, of the worst teams. Yeah, but Vanderbilt teams comes up. They they always do well. Vanderbilt will come out and they'll play all right. I mean, yeah, I agree. Notre Dame 
No, I, they're not in the top 10. No, no.